Welcome in, yo. Tonight we got a good matchup here between number 11 UTSA at number 15 San Diego State. I'm expecting UTSA to win this game. Joining me in the booth tonight is Vegeta. What are you expecting out of this game? Uh, I think we a hard-fought match. I would honestly like to see San Diego State get the upset tonight, but... We're in for a tough fight against this tough UTSA team. Okay, so it's all going to come down to how Eric Logamore plays against this um, UTSA defense, the freshman QB. Because we're going to see San Diego State start out with the ball here in the I formation. As they're going to hand it off here right away to Dolph Hustle, but he loses two yards. Yeah, I think that's one guy that they really need to get get going as hustle. They need to open up the ground, get the ground game going to open up their passing game. Yep, that's how it's going to come down for him since Eric's new and all. Needs time to develop still as they're going to come out here in the five wide. Going to set up the screen to Dolph. Gain a two. Make that a flat route, actually. I think he, I, I would like to see him push it down a little bit more downfield than just two yards, but... Anything to at least get those two yards back that they just lost. So we're gonna come back out here in the empty set. Cross on the slant hits his man for about a gain of ten there for a first down. Donovan Jones. Yeah, that, was, that was a generous spot by the refs for giving them that first down. My thing glitched for me. That's why I kind of got stuck on saying how far it went. As they're going to see a loss of two there by Hustle again as this running game can go nowhere. Lakota with his first tackle of the night expecting a lot more. It looks like UTSA came out playing the run heavily. I mean, it made sense. They got Dolph back there. So they're going to fake the handoff this time. Eric's going to have time. Hit his man oh. on the comeback but missed him out of bounds. You need to hit those passes. Yeah that they missed so we're gonna see a man get motion down here to make it two to the bottom and top Eric's gonna have time to step back he's gonna launch a deep one here does he have him he does not almost picked off by the Copertron but instead it's gonna be a punt and the ball is going to UTSA uh, yeah it's, it's crazy to see them already throwing these deep shots this early in the game uh, I think they need to a little bit more momentum before they start hitting so we're going to see a return up here to the 44 by UTSA. I'm going to see what Lay and Lee in this offense can do. We're going to see him come out here in the pistol set to start off. Going to throw this one out of bounds as Layton just before he gets sacked. Some good pressure by that uh, San Diego State defensive line. I'm not getting the empty set right away now. It's UTSA. Three to the bottom, two to the top. Got to throw across the middle and misses his man as well, bringing up third and ten. I feel like Leighton has missed a lot of those those open passes this season. He hits the deep ones, so that's a funny thing. He misses the short yeah. ones, but hit the, hits the deep ones. Hits his man on the slant this time, and Jimmy Johns is going nowhere. Stop before the line to gain, bringing up a three and out for UTSA. Yeah, that was a uh, good defensive stand by San Diego State. Yeah, huge stop, too, because UTSA had great field position immediately. So we're mm -hmm. going to see a punt out of bounds here to the 22. Oh, actually, I'm almost down that close. That was a 21. Because <laughs> we're going to see them come out here in the... Uh, single back set. Eric's gonna step back, hit his man on the out route. What a hit there! But Jet Turner holds on to it for a gain of six. That's a nice to see. That, that's something I'd like to see on first down. You know, a little six yard pass to Turner. I think that was Jeremy on the tackle too. Fifty-five. Set number fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jagger Cash is fifty-five. Ah, okay, I think 52 is Jeremy then, isn't it? I don't have to put the sheet back down for a minute. <laughs> Did you say 52? Off yeah. If there's no 52 for UTSA, it's probably a walk-on. Where's Jeremy uh, then? Wait, wait, hold on. I'm looking at the wrong team. 
Hold on, one second. Ah, uh, he's 90 something now. I was just remembering last year. Van number. Holden is Van Holden's 92 now. Okay, that explains it. As we're gonna see a punt here from San Diego State after the hold from the UTSA defense. Return here from the 32, gets it past midfield, Jimmy Johns for a gain of 16, bring up first and 10, putting UTSA in great field position again offensively. I'll see if they can actually uh, do something with this field position now. Right here in the pistol set is Leighton, he's going to hand it off here to his man Burkhardt, finally getting him involved, and look what happens when you do for a gain of 16, first and 10, former and there's first a lot elite. Of there was a lot of chatter last week between Burkhart and his coach. He, was, he, felt, he felt very underutilized last week. Gotta see him getting more involved here. Definitely. Coming out here in the shotgun set now is Layton. He's going to step back. Hits his man over the middle for the first down. That's Jimmy Johns. And just like that, UTSA is moving the ball quickly here. That makes it first and ten. That was, uh, that was a nice little pass to Jimmy Johns right there. So we're going to see him come back out here in the shotgun set. Lane's going to draw back into a clean pocket, hit his man on the out route. Jimmy Johns for another five yards, bringing up second and five. His third catch of the night already. Yeah, UTSA is playing the soft coverage. And they're going to eat that up all game long. They're going to let them have that. They're going to come out here in the empty set again. Three to the top, two to the bottom. Going to hit his man on the curl. Throws the man off. There he goes. And he's going to get the touchdown. That is Jim Bob. You cannot leave him one-on-one. -on -one. And he just showed why. And just like that, UTSA puts the first points on the board. Yeah, that hurts. That was uh, Chris Cook that, that blew that tackle right there for the uh, touchdown. That was a big boy he had to bring down by himself, though, so... Yeah, definitely. So we're going to see a PAT up and good, making this a 7 to nothing game here with under 6 minutes left to go in the first quarter. Return here from the 2. Brings it to old, finds a seam to get it up to the 33. That's Dolph Hustle with a 30-yard return. A nice Not return much yards there. gained. Not a lot of yards gained for either side so far. Well, only 14 for San Diego State. That's they need to they need to work on that. Yeah, in two drives as well. They're running. There's gonna be a blitz coming right at them. Oh. Yep, and look, worked out for him. Gain of eight. Second and two. The hole just kind of opened up. He kind of got lucky with that. They were they were bringing the heat on that one. I wonder if they call play action here. Now nah, they're going to hand it off to Dolph Gannon. He runs over oh. Tron, and there he goes oh for a gain God. of 16 down the sideline. And just like that, they heard us up in the booth, and they're starting to move the ball now. See what... Hustle's one of those guys that is very hard to bring down as well. It's definitely, yeah. After he got brought down the first couple times, he started making up for it now. Brought his A game, let's drive. Yep, As he almost threw another guy off there for a gain of five, though, bringing up second and five. Eric's coming out here now in the single back set. He's going to step back this time, hit his man on the out route. Does he have him? He does. Third and inches. Hitch just chill. Should set up an easy running down for uh, Dolph here. I would think that they would just hand it off to Dolph, but... It looks like they're gonna do that. Yeah, don't like him coming out here in the shotgun formation. Terrible play call. Will it work out oh, though. It does. Oh. Gets it down to the two. What a throw there from Eric to Donovan Jones. His second grab of the night, and that's a huge one. Broke off his man immediately. I think they, uh, PSA was definitely expecting the run, and they're like, "Nah, we're gonna get, we're gonna get Donovan Jones over the top for that first down at the at the two. So we're going to see Eric line up under center here. Hits his man. Oh, what a... Okay, not, Donovan did not have to do all that. But he that just wanted to show off. 
<laughs> My man did a whole somersault to catch that for no reason. I love it. That's respectful. I've never seen that animation till now either. Oh my gosh, someone clipped that. What a play. And just like that, we got a tie game now. I said, let that boy finish it off. That was insane. Like that I want to figure out there. what... I want to figure out what cornerback he just disrespected too. I didn't get to see as Jimmy finds a seam, breaks oh. off one man, gets it up to the 35 on a 33 yard gain. I want to say that was uh, Carpentron. I believe. In the dual halfback shotgun set now is Mac or Layton Lee. Well, there's no man going to hit Cadillac Jackson there for a gain of five, his first grab of the night. See if they can answer back and put more points on the board this drive. They need to, as that was a dirty play right there at the end. As we're going to see Lay and Lee with the read option there for a gain of seven and picks up the first down pretty easily. Wasn't touched till he was past him. I'm now here in the single back set now. Lay and Lee's going to hand it off to Burkhart for a gain of six, bringing up second and four. Second rush of the night for him for 22. We just need to feed that man. He's a great running back. I don't know why UTSA doesn't use him a lot more than they do. So we're going to see Layton Lee step back here. Hits his man Jimmy Johns for a gain of 11. Nice play call there on the quick curl route. Look, I want to see uh, UTSA hit a deep shot. They need to answer back from the last one that was used against him. So we're going to see Burkhart run here. And, I mean, he's gaining six, seven yards every time. Nine, he's, averaging, he's averaging nine, nine right now. He's averaging nine, nine carry right now. Got to get him more involved. He's going to be a huge part of this offense. I can feel it tonight. Read option here for Layton Lee. Those are always good, too, because they're going to be looking at him. And way to break off that tackle for the first for a gain of seven. First I feel like Leighton Lee is kind of like Lamar Jackson. He's more of a runner than he is a passer. He can pass when he has to, but he's a lot better at running the ball. He almost threw that right into someone, but Jimmy Johns comes down with it for a gain of 10, bringing up second and inches. So we're going to see Lane Lee step back here in the pocket. Gets pressured immediately, so he just throws this one away, bringing up third and inches. And this is why they need to use Burkhardt, in my opinion. So we're going to see him hand it off here to Burkhardt, and there he goes for a gain of six again, bringing up first and goal. Call it a gain of six yards. Good little run after If it's working, I don't know why they don't give it to him more. They've looked more balanced here so far than last week, at least 6 and 10 so far, but a couple of them have been this right here. As Matt gets placed on his butt after a gain of 2 there, that was funny. That brings up second and goal. We're going to see a little bit of the players there for a minute. <laughs> We're going to see Lay and Lee here in the 4 wide shotgun set. So we're going to see him take off here again on another QB keeper for a gain of one, bringing up third and goal from the five. It looked like he wanted to throw that, but their coverage was just too good for to throw it to somebody. Probably a good idea to just run for that one. I'm not here in the four wide shotgun set now. Three to the bottom, one to the top. Lane Lee's going to have time. Hits his man on the slant across the Oof. middle, and he cannot get in. Cadillac stopped at the one. Interested to see if they go for it here. They will not. They will set up for a basically PAT here. To take the lead on a field goal. Do they get it? They do. Making this a 10-7 game with a minute left in this opening quarter. It was a huge stop for uh, San Diego State to only hold them to three points down there in the, end, the red zone. Definitely, especially when UTSA ate up a lot of clock there. Broke off that one tackle, but it brought down immediately right after. 
see if uh, San Diego State can at least match that uh, to keep the game tied. Oof. As we're going to see, Eric gets sacked immediately as soon as you say that. By uh, Najee Wyatt. And you get like a few more plays in before the end of the quarter here. Maybe end of a drive if they don't pick up the first down here. I see Eric step back here, hit his man. Oh, oh he was wide open on that curl. Just mm. chill for 21 yards, bring up first and 10 for San Diego State. That's Those are the little things that Just Chill does. He, he gets out in the open little flats and he just like, can burn you upfield like that. That's what you need from one of your key players on offense. Absolutely. So we're going to see him come out here in the single back set now. Underneath center as he's going to hit his man on the out route. That's Donovan Jones for a gain of three. Bring up second and seven with 27 seconds left. You know, you don't, you don't really see Donovan Jones getting those just three yard passes. He's usually their uh, over the top guy. So we're going to see Eric step back here. Almost threw a pick to the Carpetron. He wanted to make up for what happened to him earlier. But did not have the hands to hang on to that, bringing up third and seven here with 15 seconds remaining. You would think with a build like that, that man would be able to grab onto anything. And Eric's going to get sacked for a loss of seven, and that will draw a close to the end of the first. Before, Unless they want to punt it here, I don't see why they would. Just hang on to it till the end. You gotta, I know he's a freshman, but... Eric's got to let that ball go and just uh, throw, it to, throw it out of bounds. You can't be taking sacks like that. Yeah. As they will let it go to the end of the first here with your score being UTSA 10, San Diego State 7. As you're watching the ECFL on Twitch here. Now we're going to see San Diego State punt it right back here to UTSA now. Turn here from the 20 by Jimmy Johns. Gets it up to the 35 on an 11-yard return. If uh, San Diego State can hold them or if uh, UTSA is just going to run it down the field again. It'll be the read option here from Lane Lee, and what a read there from him for a gain of nine as he got flipped. Quality football. I don't know if you'd call UTSA quality football. <laughs> Who said that? Wow, <laughs> uh, super grandma. Oh, wow, what a play from Burkhart there for a gain of nine. Broke away from two people in the backfield. Was, uh, I've been saying it all game. Burkhardt is their man. I don't know why. He is so underutilized in this offense. So we'll see Lane Lee step back here. Almost threw a pick there to Cody Lawrence, but he just bats it down. And those are the things that Lane Lee keeps ending up doing on these short throws. So we're going to see him come out here in the empty set now. Three to the top, two to the bottom. He's going to hit his man on the curl. That's going to be Cadillac Jackson for a gain of one, bringing up third and nine. That may have just been a tunnel screen, too. Couldn't really yeah, tell because I couldn't see if it was set up over there, but it definitely looked like it. They pick up this fourth, or this third. So like he's going to see. It. Oh, what a move there from Cadillac to push through for the first. Good play there. UTSA keeps it moving downfield. Gonna see the fake handoff here. Max gonna hit his man. There he goes, Jimmy Johns for 14 yards and the first. Clayton Lee, good throw there. He snuck behind that uh, that corner right there and uh, wide open. We're gonna see Lane Lee almost get picked there. I don't know how that got into the hands of Jimmy Johns, but regardless, a gain of five there, bringing up second and five. And they're inside the red zone now.
Gonna be the pitch option here, and Land Lee throws two people off of him at once. That was insane for a gain of nine, bringing up first and goal. Went uh, they went after Burkhart more than the quarterback. I mean, it was probably a smart move, but man, you get two defenders on them. And there goes Layan Lee into the end zone. Break broke off another man. He had like four broken tackles this drive combined. Putting UTSA on top by ten. Go ahead. That was a good little run by Layton Lee to get him in for the touchdown. Yeah, two back to back good ones. PAT's up and good, making the score 17 to 7 with seven minutes remaining in the second. That's a lot of sevens. That is a lot of sevens. <laughs> what a hit there on Dolph Hustle, but of course he's not letting that football go. Gain a 23 there. We're going to see a man motioned over here for Eric. He's going to come out on the eye for him, hands it off to Dolph. Dolph would just disrespected three people right there before he was finally brought down and still couldn't even pick up a yard. Good tackle there from Duke Marriott. How do you step on two people at once? Gave him the same animation too. That was insane. UTSA is going to the weight room after seeing that. Throw across the middle here from Eric hits Tavion Tyree for a gain of nine. His first grab of the night, making it third and short. Looks like UTSA uh, worked on their tackling this week from compared to last week. That is very true. They definitely still need strength upgrades though. <laughs> Dolph with a run right up the middle for an easy first down, only a gain of seven. Motioning the man over here in the I-form set, hands it back off to Dolph, throws another man off of him, but only gets back to the line. Brought down by Papino, his second tackle of the night, including that big sack earlier. I want to see Dolph just break one to the house. We may get that opportunity. And there he goes, as you say, it, not to the house, but gain a 14 huge play there from Dolph. this game interesting again I don't want it to be a blowout yeah I don't want it either oh, oh and they oh. put it on the ground you jinxed it and oh, taken away by uh oh I know who that is Wyatt right uh, who took I it, so, who or is it that Wawa Look. that might be Wawa 69 it's either Wawa or Wyatt the 69 is the Carpetron oh yeah no, that's, that's, oh, no, no Wawa is 69 98 is okay so it is Wawa Carpetron. Yeah, yeah, 98 Scarpetron. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was Wawa or Wyatt. Couldn't remember. I knew one of them had sixes, or maybe both of them do. As Jerry's gonna get a gain of four. In the booth, uh, cursing people, man. That makes it second and six. Listen, I know Kane's. I told you. I told you. Um. Yeah. Okay. But yeah. I'm trusting on Vegeta to tell me. <laughs> I, I, I literally I looked at it and I was just like, wait a second. As he's going to hit Jimmy John's here for a gain of 21. I'd have to pull it up on my phone, and my phone screen's so small, I'm trying to focus on the game. That makes it first and ten. Ten. Here, let me pull it up to make him happy. Ow. Pull up here in a minute. Who are you pulling up? I don't care. Uh, I'll do UTSA. Actually, I kind of know a lot of the UTSA guys, so I'll let you do that. I'll pull up San Diego State. Jerry Burkhart with a gain of four there, bringing up second and six. I have a feeling that Burkhart's going to transfer out this season. I think that Lane Lee quarterback's going to transfer out too. Hand off here to Burkhart, throws two people off him before he's brought down from behind. Loss of two, though, bringing up third and eight. Manuel Sun on the tackle for a loss. I don't really get to, you don't really see Manuel Sun's name get, get called a lot, but. A good player. 
As we're going to see Burkhart run there now. Throws a man off him, throws another one off him, down to the four with a gain of 18, bringing up first and goal. This is why they need to feed Burkhart. It's like this. So we're going to see Burkhardt run here to the outside, only gets back to the line though, breaking up second and goal. He couldn't do anything there, everybody was had to see a black and red in front of him. So we're going to see Burkhardt run here, and he gets stopped right on the inch mark. I thought he was in. They just stole that from my boy. I bet you now they're going to throw a slant right here too. Uh, poor Russell Wilson here. Oh no, they're oh, lining up here oh. in a run formation. Oh, yeah, see, they didn't, oh. even give it. they didn't even give it to my boy. That was an interesting play call there, though. I don't oh. think I like it, though. Oh, not on the touchdown. not on the goal he, line. He was able to pitch it. That was a touchdown. Yeah, but it's harder right there. You have less space to work with. That's why I don't like it on the goal line. Mm-hmm. So we're going to see another field goal up here and another great goal line stand from San Diego State. Whoever made that tackle, I didn't get to catch the number or the name. That was amazing on that inch mark. So we're going to see Dolph with a return of 24 there. Eric stepping back here, just going to throw this one out of play. He's done well so far. 9 for 14, 89 yards, and a touchdown. I'll take that from a freshman. Definitely. Do you think oh, he did the drop the ball, though. I did remember he just fumbled it earlier. Even, it, even with the fumble, it's still a pretty good stat line. Yeah. Jet Turner with a gain of 4 there, bringing up 3rd and 6. I think you were about to ask me a question. Do you think San Diego State is in... Just chuck the ball downfield mode now since 20-7. I, I wish you had been able to ask me that before, but they're definitely not acting like it right now. <laughs> As Eric's going to get sacked here because he ran into his own lineman there. A Carpetron credited with the sack. Nearby said tackle there. I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> it was coming down. I had to stop myself at the K. <laughs> So we're going to see another punt here from San Diego State. UTSA going to return from the 30 with Jimmy Johns. Gets it up to the 45. UTSA is, or not UTSA, San Diego State's not doing themselves any favors on offense right now. Yeah, they're also really making it difficult for their defense. Their defense has saved them twice now, and they have to keep it up. Handoff here to their card. Throws a man off of them. Only can't even gain a yard though, unfortunately. Go ahead, my fault for interrupting. I just had to mention that man getting thrown off. <laughs> UTSA keeps having short field today. Short field, and they're not they're not helping their defense at all. Yeah, that's the main issue right there. They're not picking up first downs or anything. So we're gonna see Lanley step back here. Wants to throw deep, does have a man. Wood toe drag there for the first down up to the 31. That's Spooky Willow's first grab of the night. Wide open. I mean, we may have said that Lane Lee misses his open passes and stuff, but that doesn't mean keep testing him with it, because he will hit them. Right. He just misses the occasional one. As we're going to give it to Burkhart here. Oh, what a stiff arm in there. That man goes gain of eight after stiff arming and breaking off another one. That makes it second and two. We're going to see Lane Lee step back to the pocket here. Going to lob it to his man Jim Bob for 13 and a first and goal from the nine. As they're going to call the first time out here. And San Diego State's playing the soft zone coverage. Lane Lee quit it. Oh. 
I don't know if that man in the chat's being serious, but Willows is um, a freshman wide receiver for UTSA. So we're going to see Burkhart there with a great play to get into the end zone before the end of half. Oh, what a pitch there from Lane Lee. I didn't even notice that either. What an amazing pitch. I was too busy responding to Chet. That was a great play all together from UTSA's team there. Make this a 27-7 game here with uh, under a minute and a half remaining. Oh. Way to bring Tyree down like that after he tried to make a move. <laughs> I think if it, if it would have got to uh, hustle, he would have broke that. Yeah, he probably would have, and he would have had a lot of space to work with. Eric's going to step back here, throw it deep. Oh, oh he barely missed his man. I mean, I get he's got growing pains and all, so I can't, like, say anything wrong about it. I know he's going to miss the occasional, but there's ones like that you got to hit in the clutch time regardless. As Eric's going to throw it deep here, does he have this? He has him wide open. He's never going to miss that. And that's... Is that Jones again? It is. Another it touchdown is. for Davion Donovan Jones. Second grab of the night. First a cartwheel, then left wide open for a, I want to say, around 75 yards there. As the Mac was saying in chat, wow, wow, pick six and I'll tease my nuts. <laughs> I think you're going to do it regardless after seeing that, Mac. And just like that, San Diego State responds quickly here, but leaves a lot of time for, UT for UTSA to try to score again. And that, San Diego State's defense needs to step up and make sure that they don't score. Yeah, because that was a huge momentum boost from San Diego State there. They do not need UTSA taking it away from them again. Look at There's those yardage. Not even just the yardage. Look at how... how uh, Balance there, 21. Yeah, balance, balance too. Here we go. Hang on, Love to see that. So we're gonna see Lane Lee step back here and oh. almost threw a pick six to Jim Quinn there. And those are the little mistakes Lane Lee makes a game that you cannot afford to pass up. So you'll see Jimmy Johns with a gain of three here, bringing up third and seven. I really wanted to see that pick six. That would made things really interesting. As you're going to see him hit Burkhart here for a gain of 14 up the midfield as they call their second timeout here with 45 seconds left. San Diego State needs to really work on their tackling as well. You're going to see Lane Lee throw deep here, has a man wide open, and just like that, they answer back with a deep shot of their own to Spooky Willows for a gain of 51. And they did the thing we said they cannot do. You can do it too. So we, You can do it, so can we. We're going to see the PAT up and good, making this a 34 to 14 game with 40 seconds remaining in the first half. What was that? Coach Otang's on the sidelines breaking uh, breaking clipboards at the moment. <laughs> so we're going to see Eric step back here and just throw this one out of play. Good play there as no one was open. Or a good decision, I mean. We're going to see a man get motioned over here in the single back set for Eric. Going to throw on the slant. Hits his man, Tavion Tyree, for four yards. As they are probably going to let this go to half after that play, I would assume. Definitely. Man left, man left. 
Maybe not. One more deep shot. Yeah, I mean, they have time to try one more and then call a timeout, but they'd have to snap yeah. it now, otherwise it wouldn't matter. And you're gonna let it run down to like two seconds and then go deep. So it. Yeah, I thought they were actually gonna hand that off, but just chill for a gain of six. And just like that, your score at halftime will be UTSA 34, San Diego State 14. And San Diego State has a battle to make here if they want to come back and make this game close. What did you see out of the first half, Vegeta? Uh, UTS is, UTSA's defense came to play, definitely. Uh, they're not allowing San Diego State to do much. Except and, for that. <laughs> yeah, except for that. Uh, and then on the other side of the ball, UTSA is playing very balanced, which is something that I wasn't expecting. I thought that they would kind of shy away from Burkhart, as they have done all season so far. Um, but it's nice to see them get Burkhart running the ball, because that man is a monster, and you just need to feed him. Yeah, that was great for them getting Burkhart more involved. As I mean, it's showing dividends for their offense right now. Just look at those numbers. It's opening up their passing game as well. Definitely. No turnovers for Lane Lee either, even though he's probably thrown two already that have just been dropped. But regardless, you take those and roll with it. Yeah, definitely. You need to... You know, they're doing what they need to be doing right now. Just uh, don't focus on the negatives. Just focus on the positives at this point. Yep. And for San Diego State, that's exactly how they're going to get back into this game. They have to take those balls away from Lane Lee that are thrown right at them. Or they're even just hit a man hard and make them fumble. Yeah, they're only down 20. I think they're, they could still come back. I mean, it's, it's going to be a reach, but it's, it's not out of the question. Oh, no, it's definitely not out of the question. Just get a couple stops on defense, too. They don't even have to be turnovers. But the offense has to get rolling. There are only two scores have been from their star wide receiver Jones. As we're gonna see Lane Lee come out here in the pistol set, gonna play action here, hits his man for the first at spooky. Never mind, he went back into the <laughs> that was a weird spot, but I mean I guess so because he was falling forwards. You got to keep your balance going into the first down there. As we're going to see a great pitch there from Lay in Lee to Cadillac Jackson for eight yards and a first, his first rush of the night. Yeah, it's weird that they they had Cadillac come come in for that, but it works, I guess. I'm now here in the pistol second to fake the handoff on the read option. Lay in Lee did not read that one right, and he's going to lose a yard due to that. A second down, it's not the end of the world for him, but yeah, they need to, they need to gain positive yards, not go backwards. Honestly, that may have just been great awareness from the defender, because he got a hand on Burkhart, too. As we're going to see him come out here in the shotgun set now, Lane Lee's going to hit his man on the curl. Picking up the first down and more is Billy Beans, gain of 13, that's his first grab of the night. Picking the bean, you can't leave him alone. So we're going to see Lane Lee come out here in the four wide shotgun sit. Hand off here to Burkhart. I believe that was another read option, but both were covered well there as he's going to lose another yard. Garrett Evans on the stop. Yeah, the uh, defense needs to clamp down on this run game. They also need to figure out pad the passing game because they're leaving, they're leaving these UTSA players wide open. So we're going to see him come out in the shotgun sit. Hand off here to Burkhart, and he's going nowhere again. Loss of five as San Diego State zoomed in on this run defense and it's worked so far. Third and 16, you need to play the pass now. Don't let them get open. Oh yeah, 100%. They need to have people on that first down marker everywhere. As Lane Lee's going to throw it deep and he has them but overthrew him by miles. And you cannot be doing that as a vet QB in this league. I feel like that happens more often than not in this league, though. Unfortunately. 
as we're going to see a touchback here, and just like we were saying, the Aztecs make a big stop immediately. As we're going to see Eric come out here in the I formation handoff here to Dolph. Throwing a man off him, but gets brought down immediately after as both these defenses are ready for the run this half. Lakota with his second stop of the night, which is interesting to see. I expected a lot more out of him. Yeah, I, uh, I said it in the first half, you know, UTSA is definitely selling out for the run today. So we're going to see Eric step back into the pocket here, hits his man who's open, Tavion Tyree, for a gain of 18. Way to break off of that release right there. Eric's not having a bad game. He hasn't thrown a pick yet. Which is the most important stat there for these young QBs, limiting the turnovers. Coming down the four wide shotgun set now. Gonna hit his man on the slant and the first that's just chill with his fourth grab of the night for 43. Uh, they're, they're starting to build up a little bit of momentum and I would like to see them keep this going. That was an interesting play call there, but that Derek was... London goes nowhere, loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Yeah, that was As they're saying, we cursed them bringing up that Eric, yeah. not throwing a pick. <laughs> he still hasn't thrown one, so... So we're gonna see him step back here, setting up the screen on second and eleven, and that's going nowhere. Lost the three for Dolph. He so gets disrespected for a minute. Does not help you on third down. On that screen right there. Yeah, bad decision. Fourteen. I want to see him step back here, throwing it deep. And there's oh, the pick. Ah, <laughs> yeah, oh, there it is. That's uh... horrible. The Carpetron is able to pick that one off this time, and they're never going to forgive you in the booth after you brought it up. Yeah, they were trying to get it down to Donovan Jones, too. He says he hates you, man. Get over it. We're gonna see Lane Lee step back here on the curl, hits his man Burkhardt, but there's gonna be a flag probably for clipping. Bring it back, 15. Oh, wow. I love those clipping calls. Still first down. Making us first and 19 now. Oh, it's Lighton Lee's trying to throw a pick. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. He's going to try to run with it, though. He says, screw you. Oh, it throws a man off him first down and way more. Gain a 22 there on the rush. We're gonna see Lane Lee step back here in the pocket again. Gonna hit his man on the out route. Bringing up second and six on the gain of four. Great option here for Lane Lee. He's gonna pick up the first down with his feet again. Gain of seven. I think uh, after I said that, he's afraid to throw the ball now. Yep, he said I already saw the other man get jinxed. Setting up the screen pass here on first and ten. Breakheart breaks away from one man picking up four. What a move from him. Did he really, I, I don't know if he broke away or if that man just really just whiffed. All the same to me. Made a play. Another read option here. They're really sticking to the read option this drive, and that one goes nowhere. Only a pickup of one. I said he's, he's afraid to throw it now. Watch 
Money Lee stepping back into the pocket here. Gonna hit Burkhart. Tries to drive a man with him to the first, but gets the defensive help to stop him there, bringing up a punt for UTSA again. Well, their offense turned it over. At least their defense stepped up, so they didn't they didn't lose any points on that. So you want to see another touchback here? Coach Otang saying that San Diego State is looking to change books tonight. Mm, that would be interesting to see. Yeah, they do need to look a little bit better. If that many defense, pro, oh, I think their defense they is fine. They changed the, to the they will. They're running the pro style right now, and I just don't think it. Offense is built for it at the moment. No, as they're just going to get brought down on a sack again, bringing up third and 16 here. They're going to get it to Diamond Jones. I'm going to try to hit him deep again. Nope, brought down on the sack again, and they're going to have to punt this from the five. That's rough. That makes it fourth and long. It's even worse if they gave their defense no time to breathe either. They're yeah, gonna have this ball way past midfield. <laughs> yep, all the way down in the field goal range already. Otang saying, or isn't their scheme with Dolph or Eric? I don't think Dolph. Dolph works fine in the pro style. I think it's a quarterback, yes. You have like no old line. And there goes Mac or Lane and Lee on the QB read option again for a gain of seven. Another read option here this time hits Burkhardt and he's going to get a huge gain there, gain of 17 already into the red zone. Games played on All American. We do use custom sliders as well, I believe. Yeah, we do. I think, I think we do, yeah. Not like serious custom sliders, but they are different from the default. So we're going to see a handoff here to Jerry Burkhart for a loss of four, bringing up third and 17 for UTSA here. Yeah, all UTSA can do at this point is just hold them to three. I think you meant San Diego State there. That's what I meant. <laughs> as Lane Lee's going to throw it here, but gets hit as he throws, otherwise he did have his receiver open there. And they do hold him to three, which is actually really huge from where they started. I mean, San Diego State's defense has kept them in it all night, but now it's just getting out of hand, even allowing these threes. Yeah, at this point, you just can't really let them get anything. Especially if your offense can't answer. are going to see a run here from Dolph again. Oh man, nice what a run. move there. Gain of 11. Coming out in the high formation again. Eric's got all day to throw. 
It's his man here, Donovan Jones, for 14 and a first. We're going to see another run from Dolph here. No gain on that play. Doesn't even get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. That'll bring up second and 11. Yeah, I, I think at this point you need to just start chucking the ball downfield. It's, you're down by a ton. And off here to Dolph. Loss of two again. That is a loss of two yards. They said that I'll carry Fuck you, we wanna run the ball. <laughs> man left, man left. Four for ten on third down, that's rough. The biggest difference of the game, though. Uh -huh. Launching it deep here, does he have him? No. And third turnover game. of the night for Eric. Three all together. Giovanni Valentine comes away with that turnover this time, which was basically an arm punt anyway. Honestly, yeah, both of them were arm punts. I'm just trying to make something out of nothing. Uh, let me see. Uh, commentate real quick. I need to see something. Oh, I, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jed, I've, 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 I've said too. I've seen you a couple of times, Jed. I think he's had like two catches. A, he's just not being a big part of the offense. I'd open. It's, it's his man on the seam route there. Spooky Willows again. He's having himself a night. Mac, they, you've, you've had two. They've thrown two, two interceptions and the fumble. Yeah, they've thrown two picks, uh, and then the fumble was also with Eric. So, <laughs> so Layton Lee is going to get sacked there this time. I believe that's the first sack of the game for San Diego State. Manuel Sun comes away with it. Who else? That is a true fact, um, Rory. <laughs> and his man oh, on the curl it. here, but dropped. Bringing up third and long now after it could have been third and two if he held on. Uh, throw it here now to Jimmy Johns for a gain of 11, bringing up 4th and 2. As that will draw a conclusion of this third quarter with your score, UTSA 37, San Diego State 14. You're watching the ECFL on Twitch. You know what time it is, Vegeta. You know, uh, I know this isn't the most exciting game of all time, but it's the fourth quarter. Let's get those fours up in chat. As we're going to see the field goal up and good, putting a 40-burger on the board for UTSA tonight as we still got a whole fourth quarter to play. And it's looking like another blowout. Well, TSA is not really getting the end zone a whole lot, but... Um, Just doesn't matter when their defense is doing what it does. Yeah, Man, that was a disgusting exactly. stiff arm. I would... I would... If I was San Diego State, I would use that as one of the takeaways tonight. Like, yeah, our offense did great holding the more field goals than we are. Touchdown. You just need to work on their offense. I think if offense was doing them more favors, the score would be a little bit different. I don't think they, UTSA would have 40 if that was the case. Yeah, because then their defense wouldn't be as tired. As we're going to see Eric step back here, hit a man on the curl. That is going to be Donovan Jones again for another gain of seven. As he's having himself a game, a game as well. That's been the most surprising fact to me, Mears, is that UTSA has held them to 14, but I have not seen Lakota at all tonight. As Donovan Jones... 
gonna get a gain of eight there. Yeah, but he like these he's last like, few weeks he's had like a good amount of tackles. Seventeen tackles in the game. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah. Really done that. Ooh. Dolph Hustle with a great grab there, even though I couldn't see half of that because of the leg. <laughs> Have I not been drawn yet? This is rigged for Kings. I, I, haven't, I haven't been drawn Throw out wide here to Dolph Hustle again for a gain of six. As we're going to see Eric step back here to throw again. He's going to launch oh. one deep here. Does he have him this time? Oh, he, he does. What a, oh what a snag God. there from Donovan Jones and a great loss as that puts him over 200 for the game. 200 what a 300. catch. So this one man. I mean, go to him. He's your star. Right? It's working. I mean, I mean obviously it's not working. Right? It's working. Get him here with a somersault throw again. Or somersault catch, my fault. Nah, let Dolph get in there. Oh! What a tackle from behind still after he got shoved off. I think he grabbed his foot there. As Amir's is telling uh, Mac to cut number five. <laughs> so we're gonna see Dolph hustle right in there for a gain of two. Telling him to cut Cherry Scrim. Freshman safety. Oh, that's my replacement. You can't be replaced. Definitely feels that way. So we're gonna see a return here from the five. Have you seen my numbers my guy's been putting up? I have no, like I... a record year in tackles. I've gotten freaking 20 and 19 in both weeks. Yeah, I don't really pay attention to Texas Tech. That's rude. This is why I don't pay attention to App State. Okay. This is why your guy, this is why your new guy's trash. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, probably. I mean, he is, he is safety too. He is safety t he's safety too and CB4 on my team, so... He'll get there. He doesn't really see the field, so I'm not really worried. So we're going to see a return, a rush there from Jerry Burkhart for a gain of six, bringing up second and four. We get some, uh, we get some drawings in here, Keynes. Yeah, draw me, Keynes. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that was a disgusting oh, stiff arm, man. That was Lee and Lee, too. <laughs> it's a First and ten there after that. No, do it, Keynes. Oh, okay, okay hey, let's mean? just. Let's just. Um, let's just go on strike till he does the drawings. Let's just not talk. No commentary. <laughs> Especially with this game. <laughs> <laughs> Playing Lee with a read option here, gain of eight, bring up second and two. Kane uh, oh, says all that matters is he got his coins. My coins, I'm out of here. So we're going to see Leighton Lee come out here in the pistol set, fake the hand off to Burkhardt on another read option, and man, that's what's gotten their run game going. As he breaks a hundred for the night. <laughs> Yeah, that's... And Lee doesn't want to throw the ball no more. We done with that. Oh. What a tackle there from behind, though. Stop from going any farther. Do we see Lane Lee step back here and just throw it easy? Right there. He needs there his daily, he needs his weekly turnover. We already knew that was coming. Bro just lobbed that right to him too. It was literally like he just wanted to say, yeah, I need my weekly turnover. 
I've never seen a man may be more obsessed with making sure he has at least one turnover a game. As Eric's gonna get sacked here for a loss of 10 back at the three. That'll make it second and long. See, now Kane just makes sure it draws everyone but us. Mm -hmm. Literally. This is rigged. I knew Kane's rigged it. <laughs> I'm gonna throw here on the quick route to Derek London. No gain on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Yeah, uh, third and 19. Hours. Sure, Kane's. That's what they all say. Yeah. Well, Kooch finally joined Julian Alexander. I just threw that man's whole government name out for no reason. <laughs> Yeah, finally got drawn. Oh, did you? Finally. Dolph Hustle with a 21 yard game there. That was crazy. They needed that. Dang, you still ain't get drawn yet. Bullshit. Jesus, you gonna be the last one. Bullshit. <laughs> yeah, literally, you gonna be the last Bullshit. one. Bullshit. There you go. <laughs> As we're gonna see Donovan Jones with a gain of eight there, bring up second and two. This man was so excited about one to be drawn and he still hasn't claimed it yet. I got 30 seconds, I have to wait. Because I literally just push claim right before I got drawn, so I have to wait. Oh, good job. Get it. Don't worry. It is. Oh, deep throw there, does he have? No, he missed it. Didn't even know Beard was here. Ooh, what a tackle there from UTSA. Didn't even want to pick up first. They are going to go for it here, obviously. Yeah. Oh, run it and not get it. Oh, run it and get it. I thought they were going to call that a fumble for a minute. Deep. We're gonna see Eric step back here, hits his man. He dropped Never it. Mind. He oh, drops it. God. Third and ten, cannot be dropping that. that throw it deep. My boy Donovan Jones for a touchdown. Oh, okay. Nope, screen plays instead. Everyone's favorite play on third and long. I feel it, Canes. I feel like we're watching Texas Tech too. Uh, huh, huh, you're so funny. This is why we did this last week to Oregon State. Even though I love Gorilla, so I'm glad he's not here to listen to this, but y'all made me mad. Oh, no. <sighs> we have one bad Oregon. week. He did it to Oregon State, it's like saying. Oh, look at it. Look oh, at it. Donovan, Donovan Jones, Jones again, yeah. 66 yards. What is the record for receiving guards in the game? His number. We get confirmation. What is it? Is it over 300? Oh, now running man. pills, very dope boy. It's funny. It's funny. It's, what's the record, my guy? He did not just say that. <sighs> Going for outside kick that they're not gonna get back. Spooky Willows is able to recover it. And that's gonna milk away probably the rest of this game. Cause this running attack for UTSA has been amazing. Okay, never mind, they decided to throw instead, and that's why you don't throw. Gain of five though. 
would have laughed if Mac threw a pick six there. Would not have expected any less. Oh, so oh, he's, 270? he's he's just close. Shy. Let's let's okay. So yeah, he's super close. Let's get let's get San Diego State the ball back so we can break it. He was like 201. He was 201. He just had like a 66 yard. And then he had a 66 yard touchdown. Did he have another one? He's at 277. Or you said the record is 277. I think is the record. He might actually have passed if he had a catch before that 66 yarder, but I don't know if he did. Uh, Guess we're gonna see here in a moment. Applem, I want to see Donovan Jones break this fucking record. Oh, oh my god, you all can't tackle. Jesus, y'all had three chances in the backfield. I just want one fucking thing, and you guys can't give it to me. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna break it. Our stats team was worth a damn. No, let him get the touchdown. Oh my god. He <laughs> Kane said they should have let him go. I was saying the same thing. Yeah, let him score. I want to see Donovan Jones get this fucking touchdown. Hit shit. Yeah, yeah call timeout. Good shit. I want to see. I want to see Jones get the record. At this point, their best chance is gonna let him score because. They're not going to be able to stop it after this next play. Oh, good tackle. Um, yeah, they'll get it back for a little bit. If they stop them here, they have to. They'll get it back with like a minute and uh, ten seconds left. Oh, nope. Oh, the old, the old oh, score, 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 score. Oh, man. They're, man. I think they're going to do one more play before they start kneeling. So, San Diego State, let them in. They are. Oh, they will. They'll do one more. Okay. Oh. If the, if they don't get in, though, they're gonna... Wait, drain in the fucking clock. You're gonna win no matter what. Yeah, come on, Lee. Lee. Stop being a baby. You just oh. don't want the record broken on you. I mean, on him, it's on his defense. Well, he's technically the coach at the same time, so... That's true. That's true. Running in. The Burkhart just let him run it in. Yes, let's go. Thank you. Let's They're gonna go. have the same time as well if they got the stop. <laughs> All right, let's get it to let's get the fucking Donovan Jones for this record. I think this is the most hype me and uh, Vegeta has been since uh, this this game. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just want a fucking record. Would be cool to see and be able to call it as well. Yeah. All right, Eric. You know the job. Throw right up to Donovan. Just need to get to Donovan. Donovan Jones for the fucking record. I think no, he literally, only needs, you like, don't, he yeah, only exactly. needs a couple yards. Yeah, just hit him on a slant. He doesn't even need to go deep. What? Hey, your end zones are all fucked up. Oh, I thought that was on my side. To be honest with my internet, I thought I was just lagging. <laughs> hey, man, oh, it could no, be. Oh no my second. god. Him throw the fucking ball. Come on, Wyatt. Throw it to him too. Yeah, I literally think it was going that way. Oh, oh my god, we got like one play. Nah, they'll get two off. Two, 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 two more chances. Oh no, we do got one play because they're just they're gonna. Punish no! Oh, oh Carper Tron, come oh, on, they're gonna punt it. It's game. You Pillsbury, get out of the way. Oh, they're gonna punt it. Uh, I knew they were gonna punt it. <laughs> Alright, well, let's hope he had it. Let's hope he had a catch before um, the 66 yard return. I don't think he did. Oh, that's depressing. Yeah. It hurts. Alright, throw it deep here, Mac. <laughs> Do it for the 50 burger. Nope. And okay, I'd yeah, that's a GG. One thing to look forward to, and it's just fucking shot. If he did break it, Kane says he's gonna post an announcement, so he doesn't want to show it on the stream.
Oh. Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll stay on to announce it if it is there or not, but if not, uh, uh, your final score regardless is going to be, I think it was 48, right? Yeah. Was it 49? I think it was 48 to um, 20. Some ridiculous. Yeah. Kind of looked way. Oh, 47 28. I was close. Okay. There was a league like that, but Kane says it was bad. Severa. Um, but yeah, final score 47 UTSA, 28 San Diego State as UTSA is going to move on to 2 and 1. And I believe San Diego State drops to 1 and 2. I think they had a win. I don't think they had a win. Oh, and three actually. Never mind. For some reason, I thought they won the first week. I have no idea why. He didn't. <laughs> All right, y'all have an elite night. Wait, I just remember we're still gonna be here just in case we announce this. All right, yeah, give us one see. second. See. Oh, oh he, he, he did he break it. it. He, he broke it, guys. If if uh, the numbers are right earlier, he broke it. He's at 275. He broke it by five yards. He also had three oh. touchdowns in the night. Uh, 11 catches with it. But y'all have an elite night, and see you guys tomorrow for more elite action.